I don't think uh, we should be uh, unnecessarily cynical when we want to address a question. And I say with all sense of responsibility, there's nowhere where the Senate has said he wants to do January to December budget implementation cycle. What we promised was I want to return our budget to January to December tenure. And we have not done anything against that. What we have done is to save our economy and our resources from uh, embarrassment. As at now that we are speaking, I told you that between 75% and 100% of the release, maybe because I did not use funds for implementation of the capital project, are already with the agencies. If we don't take this innovative approach, it will mean that by next week, Sakula will go around that the fund already released should be immediately be returned back to the treasury. You just imagine whether we'll be able to get back all those money intact, and of course we can we can be sure that those projects will not be implemented. So the tenure section 12 says stipulate the tenure of the 2020 budget is still there, it's not amended. We only made a proviso that for those funds that have been released. They should be expended on those projects already in 2020. They will still be 2020 capital projects. They are not 2021 capital projects. So it does not affect the tenure of January to December budget. It would have been a different thing entirely. Assuming we are now coming to tell you that we are unable to pass 2021 budgets, that would have been what would be a reversal of the promise of making of, of us having a, a, a predictable budget cycle of January to December. Then secondly, two. If we don't pass 2021 budget, as far as even the amendment is done, it does not affect the current part of the budget. It does not affect salary and overhead. It will mean that the 2021 budget will, of course, take care of personnel from uh, January and, of course, concurrent implementation of the 2021 uh, budget while we're implementing the unconcluded part of implementation. There's a difference when you talk of appropriation act. It's a law that stipulates the estimated revenue and expenditure of government over a period of time. So the, the revenue had been earned, the expenditure uh, as a component had been released. It's only for those projects to have been completed. And for the purpose of uh, fiscal accountability, were it not for that intervention, then you have a rush to either do study job in order not to return I mean, those funds, or a rush uh, for those funds without actual I mean, project being done. So we decide to err uh, on the part of prudence, accountability, and the interest of stimulating our economy. It would be disastrous if we already have funds out there to implement I a mean, project, and because of the technicality of a tenure, of a uh, appropriation uh, act of January to December, we don't do so. So we have not departed anyway from our commitment to have a, a definite budget cycle. No additional cover is being added to the 2020 budget, but funds that have been released, and I think it's in the interest of our constituents and Nigerians to ensure that those funds are used for the purpose for which they have been appropriated. So, you have answered my question. On the my friend from Business Day, what you read was, they call it other paper, but it's just agenda for a meeting. What I've told you is the resolution of the meeting. You cannot substitute an agenda for resolution. And what, with respect, <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, I've not, I've just, with, 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 with almost respect to you, that was what the people that brought the bill conceived that could be done. But what was eventually done was to have a definitive day of 31st of March, or is it 30th of March? Of March as the cut off as the for the extension of the period. So there's no such thing as commencement of uh, 2021. And as I said, if we delay implementation of 2021 budget in March, it will mean that our staff will not collect salary, including my humble self, as well as will not be able to even power this uh, house. So the 2021 budget will run concurrently. The only thing we do is just to create a saving increase, and I say so in order to save the amount of money that had already I mean, released out. And I think uh, even if it's 
not on legal ground, on moral ground and on patriotic ground, the National Assembly is on the very firm ground in making that uh, uh, amendment. Then on the question of a uh, uh, request for uh, additional funds, the way it is done is that there will be official communication from the president, which will be read on the plenary. But I also know that uh, the Senate president probably is anticipating from the statement of Mr. President that there is a need to expand the uh, social intervention I mean, project by expanding the uh, personnel to be engaged in uh, the Empower project to one million. Of course, if a statement is made by the President, the statement, if it is to be implemented, will require appropriation. So I envisage, and that uh, uh, perhaps is also the position of the Senate President, that if the one million Empower intervention will come to reality, of course we should expect that there will be a supplementary appropriation or since we are still in the process of passage of the appropriation, there will be a need for that inclusion. And I will say, with all sense of respect, that the expansion of the Empower uh, operations is actually very desirable. Uh, in my constituency and in Fredo's constituency, we see the demand uh, for, uh, for our constituents, young graduates unemployed, looking for one way or the other that they will be productively engaged. So, as far as the Senate is concerned, uh, anything that... Uh, assist in cushioning the effects of COVID-19, anything that assists in uh, uplifting our people, anything that assists in getting our youth productively engaged will be supported in terms of monetary appropriation.